Hello, welcome to Priscilla's Kitchen. In my kitchen, I make quick and tasty meal. My name is Priscilla Yumeda, and I'm all about fish and chips today, Nigerian way. Now, different countries or different continents have fish and chips recipe. And for those who don't have, you might want to borrow from this because this is simple, easy, and very tasty. So, now, Nigeria have different kinds of fish. Some like tilapia, some like croaker. I'm much more of a fan of croaker for just simply the fact that it takes on a lot of flavor. Tilapia does the same, but it's too bulky for me, and I like my fish whole. So that's why I have a preference of croaker fish today. Now, what I did was when I went to the farmer's market, I requested that the fishmongers, you know, do the cleaning and they butterfly it. Now, I could have done this too by myself at home, but I wanted to save time. So, what I did was I used Priscilla's upper, uh, seafood seasoning and marinated it. I washed it again when I got home and seasoned it with Priscilla's uh, uh, seafood uh, seasoning. It's all on my website www.priscillaskitchenllc.com. You're going to find it at the end of this video anyway. But get on there and get this uh, 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 spice. It's very, very, very flavorful and concentrated. So all I'm going to do because I'm going to fry it, I'm going to dab it with paper towels so i take away this moisture you know because you don't want this thing to spatter all over you or your face it, it can be dangerous okay and then you pat dry now you could cut it if you want i don't like mine cut and just so you know nigerians are not more into uh they are not much into uh fillets and you know boneless skinless uh-uh they want head on they want skin on and they want you know just got it and clean it now i don't want this so i'm going to take that off and i'm going to take that off and i'm going to take this off i'm going to take this off so you could clean this yourself at home of course back home we don't you know who wants to pay for the services of a fishmonger but the fact that it's free where i, I bought this is it's a lot you know easier for me to use their services you know without extra money so it was butterfly and seasoned to the core i'm telling you there is no tasteless meal or fish in my kitchen that's a no-no so as you can see now americans do um you know they add seasoned flowers and all that we don't in nigeria as a matter of fact but time has changed there might be people who do that now so i'm just going to take this straight into this oil look at it the key to it is you have to use the right size of pan that can take the whole fish you don't want a smaller pan that you know will squish your fish so that it can keep its uh, shape you know when you're plating even better for presentation okay now in here now this is a preheated vegetable oil now in here is another pan and you might be wondering what i'm going to use it for see i'm not crowding the pan you want to drop it on a higher temperature because at the end of the day that's what is going to cross the fish if it goes into a low temperature what is going to happen is it will steam and your fish will you know will be mushy you don't want that okay so rather than fish and chips which is plantain chips like it's popularly known i'm going to be doing uh, uh fish and ripe plantain or dodo as we call it plantain as you know goes from green to this uh to ripe being ripe when it's green, it's starchy and it's not sweet. But when it's ripe, it's you know it's sweet. So you, you form a slit right here. All you need is a slit, and then I'll push back, and then I'll push back, and in one, you take that off. It's that easy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut in bias. That's how we do it. I'm gonna cut in diagonal or in bias. Now I like my plantains a little, um, uh, say about one or one and a half inch. I don't want it too skinny. I don't want it shredded like I see in many recipes. I don't want none of that. I want them to have their texture. So now a lot of people salt. Please, I highly recommend do not pre-salt before you fry. What happens is it's going to draw out the moisture here. And when you fry it, it's going to become, you know, it's going to spatter. First of all, it's going to spatter and it's very dangerous. And it's also going to steam. You don't want that. So please fry as is. So now I'm just going to drop it into the uh, a hot oil. You want to bring it to a minimum of 350 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> I know some of my fellow Nigerians will be wondering. I left Nigeria with metric system and I traded it with a... American uh, <laughs> ounces and Fahrenheit, isn't it funny? 
But hey, bear with me on that one. So that's what it is. You don't want it to be too hard. When it gets too hard, what's gonna happen is it is gonna um it, it's gonna brown on the outside and it's not gonna cook on the inside. I don't fry a lot. I have done broiling. There are different ways of doing this. I've done broiling, but today is all about keeping it authentic Nigerian cooking, especially my heritage. So while this is cooking, we will have to fry it to golden brown. I'm gonna turn the fish. You're gonna know when it's time to turn your fish because you see that the the side uh, the skin side down would have been crusting and brown. So now we turn. Be very careful. Now if you need support, this is a fish spatula. You need that. If you need support, then just hold here and then slide. Always slide away from you. Growing up, you have to fry fish to where it is so over fried and it becomes too hard. And see, when you know better, you do better. Today, I'm not doing that. I'm just going to fry to doneness. That's it. Okay? In the same vein, I'm going to come back here. See, the beauty th beautiful thing about my style of cooking is every food that I cook that is going to go on one plate has to come out simultaneously, you know? That way, when it's time to plate, you're going to eat hot food hard, cold food cold. Right? If you notice very well, we don't do a lot of veggies back home, right? But hey, we get our nutrients too from, though we have vegetables, but then, People didn't know the different ways they could use those veggies. So if you really want recipes of Nigerian vegetables, get on my website. I blog about food and I blog about the things that people, the meats that people hold about Nigeria. And there you're gonna find answers to vegetables and how we eat them. Okay, so make no mistake. Don't say, hey, it's all carbs. They eat, no. This is why you need to tune in to me because I will take you on the best journey through Nigeria. It is not only the vices you know about Nigeria. Trust me on that one. So we're gonna allow this, you know, cook uh, and fry for maybe uh, three more minutes while I set up my plates to plate. All right, so we're done with the frying of our fish. I'm gonna show you a little trick. A lot of people, some people serve it with stew. I don't like it with stew. I like to keep it just as traditional as possible. And remember, it's all about traditional heritage today. So what I'm, what you have here is simply chili that we, just like red pepper flakes. But this is what it is. This chili is like this, right? I toasted it and then I crushed it in my coffee grinder. That's what is here. And minced onions. So I'm gonna mince uh, more onions again. That's what that this is like a, our dry uh, some sort of uh, Nigerian gramolata. And of course, not all tribes again. So that some of you won't say no, we don't do that. This is what we do from where I come from. So then I'm gonna mince. You don't want big chunky onions, just a little bit, okay? That's all I need. And then here it goes. And then for seasoning and flavoring, we don't need to do nothing. Else. This is all you need. And then I'm gonna show you how we bring it all together. You might think it's a lot of chilies, it's not. When you eat fish in Nigeria, you really want it to be a little bit spicy, not so much. Another trick you need to know is when the longer we cook spice or uh, chilies, uh, you know, the less spi uh, spicy it becomes. So here you go. You want to do this when the, you hear the sizzle, you want to do this when the oil is still very hot because what it is, it it's becomes the um, sauce that you need for your fish. I know somebody might be saying, oh my god, that's too much. But hey, for a lot of you who eat Asian cuisine, you know they do a lot of chili. Two options, you can also run this through uh, a, a, a kind of mini uh, food processor if you want to but I'm keeping it just as authentic as I would want it. And here we go, we're gonna play. And so this is what I'm gonna do. So then I'm gonna bring my fish. Then I'm gonna do, put my plantains. All two options you could lay down here doesn't matter. Listen, I have worked in fine dining and I know how to do the a proper plating. Like somebody was saying, hey, Nigerians don't plate their food. You lie. 
I, I've worked in at the risk out and I worked I know how to plate food I know how to I've worked in fine dining and I've worked in casual dining so I know both of them two options you can let this you can spread this in he, up here or like me like I would love to enjoy it I'm just gonna take this I want a little bit of everything here listen the cobillon has some salt in it as you and i know that in it, that thing is has most has lots of sodium so be very careful don't add any more salt until you have tested it huh boy boy <laughs> is there any way you can send me to my village right now in the next split seconds i don't want to have to fly this is what i'm talking about reconnecting with memory with, uh, with uh, you know going down memory lane through food mm. 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 here we go in Nigeria the tail is always for the women and the head is for the men so they say growing up that's what it is my brothers will fight for this I go for the tail mm. as you can see I'm not going for fork and knife. You lose the tradition. You lose the essence. It just it, it doesn't feel the same when you do that. Go with your hands. Look at that. Be sure you grab everything. This is the most real thing I've enjoyed this year. I could tell you that. Hmm. This is how you do it when you when you love your food back home. You hit your head, and my siblings will go. Ah, you nail it. Fish and dodo. Not too much fancy smancy. Thank God I can do all that. But it's about keeping it real today. Thank you for tuning in, and uh, welcome to Priscilla's Kitchen. Join me next time on my next food finds. Bye bye. Ekbe mekano.